What is up guys, it's Josh Snipes coming at you with another video today. Today it's not a gameplay, it's not highlight, it's not a funny video. It's a thing that some people have asked me about and I wanted to show you guys how I do mine. Um, and this is going to be how I make my thumbnails. Now you could technically, you could use this program to make your banner, your thumbnail, and your uh, logo or profile picture, whichever one you do. Um, but I'm going to show you guys just for today how to make a thumbnail. Now this program is called GIMP. It is free. It works just like Photoshop. Like literally, I've used Photoshop for like two or three years. I know exactly what it works, how it works. So this was no, this was a cakewalk essentially. But that being said, let me show you how I start. So the first thing I'm going to do is. If you look at all of my videos, all of my videos have pretty similar thumbnails. They so have the same color scheme, same thing going on, and that's what you want to do. You want to look for, you want to on your channel to look uniform. This looks, it matches. You can see that it matches the coloring on my banner and it matches the coloring on my logo. That was the first key thing that I noticed. It's presentation. Presentation on here looks really, really good, especially for people who are just checking out my channel. You'll notice that if I go to re returning subscriber, this is what you guys would see. So that's what you guys would see. Now I'm going to be doing this for a live stream that I did last night. So you guys will actually be able to see this. Um, this is me making my thumbnail live for you guys. So the first thing you guys want to do is it needs to represent what game you're playing. I played Rainbow Six Siege last night, all night. so. You want to go to Google, Google Images, Rainbow Six Siege. You can do that and find a picture you like, or you can take a freeze frame from the actual video. Now you can use the Windows Snipping tool, or a lot of video editing have, I use Adobe Premiere. Adobe Premiere has, you can take a freeze frame and save it as a picture. So I mean, it's up to you. So let's find, and you want to use 1920 by 1080 as the picture size resolution. Um, I don't think I haven't seen this one before so I'm gonna use this one so let's copy this image so you want to make sure you open GIMP this is what it'll look like all this good stuff you want to go to new sorry I used two screens let me drag it over so for the width you want 1920 and for the height you want 1080 that'll match the size of our picture perfect so what you want to do is go ahead and copy or you already copied it so you want to go ahead and paste it now most of the times it's gonna show up as a floating selection since it's gonna show up as a floating selection you want to click on it right click to new layer that'll make it so the picture is actually there and it's not just a floating layer so the first thing that you want to do is find a font that you like so I mean, and this program comes with a bunch of fonts. You could also go on, I think it's called 101fonts.com or something like that. You can find the kind of font you want that fits your channel. I've been using the same font. You can see in all of them. It's really, really good to have your channel look uniform. So let me, I use Badonkadonk. That's the name of the font, but that's what I use. And then I choose my size. So usually I pick 130. Um, and then you want to decide what's going to say. So usually I'll either have it say something that's related to the video or what the actual title is. Well, for this one, um, I'm going to be calling it ranked oop, rainbow six siege. And as you can see, you can't really see it. So let's change our font color to white. So you can see that Rainbow Six Siege, but you don't want it like that. You don't want it to be offset. So let's do that and extend these so that way it can actually um, be centered. And then this is your centering tool, your alignment tool. So let's click on that. Just make sure it's really centered um, in the middle of the picture. So the next thing I want to do is I create my new layer. And this is, this is up to you guys. This is all personal taste. But I like to add an outline around my um, characters or my words so that way that no matter what background it's on, you can see it. So you want to press alpha to selection. That'll give you little dotted lines around it. Then I want to grow them 
I pick seven. It gives it with this font. It's a nice, big enough, but it's not too big. So let's change the size of our brush. So you want to click on that layer because that's what you want the outline to be on. So, and then you just color it in. So you got Rainbow Six Siege. And then you just, if, this is up to me. I don't like having a ton of layers. A lot of people don't. Some people do. So I just usually merge down. So now it's a picture instead of a text layer and an outline. So I'm just going to create a new layer. Um, new text layer. Uh, road to... Let's do this. Move that in. Oop. Move that up. And I'm going to color this red. Because if you've seen my other things, I like doing the white, red, white, red. That's just what I like doing. It's just personal preference. Oh. So let's make sure this is centered. It's perfect. And you guys should play around with this. Um, you could actually use this for a lot of stuff. I'm currently making a banner for someone. So, I mean, you could do anything with this program. So we're just going to color in that outline like so. Love it. Road to, and then last word's going to be platinum. Hopefully you spelled it right. If you don't, you can always go back and fix it. Um, that's going to be embarrassing if I didn't spell it right. But for now, it's in the video. So let's... Let's click on it, center it, make our outline, alpha to selection, grow, so we're going to grow it, okay, color it in, perfect. So now you can see, like if you've seen my thumbnails, this is exactly the process I do. You can see that this looks exactly like my thumbnails. But the best way to make sure that people see it, see your thumbnails, thumbnails is key. Thumbnails, is the thumbnails and titles is what people see first on your channel. So another thing that I like doing is adding my channel name or my name or whatever. Um, just so when people look at my thumbnails, they go, they see it and they go, ah, oh, this is Josh Snipes. This isn't just a random video with the same looking font. You'll see a lot of people um, use the same font or use the same coloring style or whatever and this will just help you so that people can differentiate between random people and your channel. So usually, I mean for me, I found that this font looks best for me. Um, honestly, the fonts is your preference. I just say use the same font, get one that you really like, like do some searching and get one that you really like and stick with that one. Josh Snipes, perfect, okay, so let's make that red, and I mean, you can do anything, this, the coloring and all that has nothing to do with, like, me, like, I like this, but the, you don't have to do this coloring or this style, um, I'm just showing you guys how I do mine, so let's do that, grow, and then color it in like that and we are done so if you guys want to now I'm going to show you guys how to upload it I'm not going to upload this one because I'm just going to use a random video but um, so what you want to do is you want to save it so I created a custom thumbnails um, folder for myself so I'm going to call this road to plat and this is just a file. This is not the actual picture. The actual picture comes as export. You want to put export as. This little thing will pop up. And then I like to do JPG because a lot of programs uh, use what's called JPEG. So JPG, export, just do 100. I mean, hopefully that won't take too much. So Rainbow Six Siege Road to Platinum, Josh Snipes, everything's there, right? We have our photo saved. What you want to do next is go back to YouTube. You can either click on your video and go through there, or you can go into your video manager and go to edit. And you're going to want to go normally, this is where you'd find it. 
it'll say change image or upload custom image if you're uploading a video it'll say upload custom thumbnail down about right here ish but right here is if you don't if you already have a thumbnail you can change it you just want to upload click click and just find it upload it and you'll be fine so anyways guys that was really simple it's really not that hard I'll leave a link down in the description hopefully I can find this program um, the actual link for it anyways guys don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel my videos um, I hope this helped you guys out a lot I know a couple of people are asking how I do my thumbnails but I also can use my this for banners thumbnails and profile pictures anyways guys it's gonna wrap up this video for today this is Josh Snipes signing off